Good morning, lovely viewers. We are live from Digital Address GA0992539 in Kokomemli, Accra. On, you can watch us on DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. On Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, we are Joy News on TV. My name is Selina Ampo and welcome to Joy News Interactive. Now let's start. The University of Education, Geneva is in the news again. And this time, it's not about the governing council, but a, a tug of war at the top affecting the student body. The latest is that there's a state of unrest among the students at the university following the dismissal of the UEW UTAC president, Dr. Frimpong Ketre Duku, by the vice chancellor. Yesterday, the students of the UEW went on a protest. Yes, a protest. They feel that the seconds are an act of sabotage, adding that they will demonstrate until their demands are met. So let's hop onto Facebook or social media in general to find out what people are saying about the UEW saga. And we have Anoche Richard, Anoche Richard who says, UEW authorities, please let peace hold. And we have Mabia who says, I think Honorable Markin may need to retreat a little bit and reflect. It could be that the university administration and the whole of his academic thing is something he needs to take some time and understand. This back and forth is not good for the reputation of the university and the professors and students. The reputation of a university is sadly very easy to destroy, but painfully difficult to build. Let's be guided by cool heads instead of throwing powers around. You can't turn professors around like this and still expect them to give out their best and build the university to model and end to model and be an enviable one. This is a comment coming from Mabia. And we have Kofi Matthew who says spreading hate and confusion one uni at a time. The UEW was at peace with itself until the NPP came to power. UCC should be alert. He's given a sound warning. And Kwabunai Japan says, let these same students protest for unfair treatment to them and they will be labeled as evil. And we have Joshua Kumsin who says Professor Avoke should be reinstated while Afo Bruni must resign. Keep your comments coming on all our social media platforms. We have another one from Osai Daniel who says destroy the university and be jobless. 60 plus adults behaving like children. I'm ashamed to say I'm an alumni. All the grandpas should retire. And we have a comment from Walon Owusu Prempe who says the demonstration is needless and institutions like the universities must be left on their own so that they can function effectively. And Akwesi Boni says, why this time politics is taking over our universities? Interesting question, Boni. Um, question for the politicians. Why are they interfering with universities? lovely game by Juventus. I'm sure Ronaldo just made it known that Juventus is there to stay. We are joined by, we are joined by Skype to speak to Gary Al Smith, the joint sports journalist, and he has some very interesting answers for us to the questions. Um, hello, Gary. How are you? Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Gary, um, did you see the Juventus game? Yes, we ran commentary on Joy FM. Okay, okay. How was, how was it when you watched it? How did you feel? Well, I think my, the, uh, our listeners 
will be the best judges of that because we could not believe what we were seeing. Okay. Um, it, was, it was amazing, amazing. But, I mean, it's Cristiano, and um, we've come to expect this. Mm, mm. How did you feel about um, Ronaldo's performance in the game? Well, I think that he underlined his status as yeah. one of the most clutch players in world football. Clutch player meaning that, you know, when you want somebody to stand up to, to be in a big game to deliver results. Mm -hmm. There are very few players in this world you would want to call mm -hmm. than Cristiano. And it just underlined why Juventus bought him for 100 million euros. Okay. Uh, let me find out. Is it too early for Juventus to win the ultimate? Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, <laughs> there's at least two or three hurdles more to go. The draw for the quarterfinal will be on Friday. Then after that, they have to go through the semifinal and through to the final. But this is the kind of performance that will psychologically give them the lift they need mm. to feel that, yes, we can. Okay, we're back. Uh, Gary, when you oh. compare, uh, yeah. when you compare um, Ronaldo's game to that of Mercy, what's your take on it? You know, there's always a social media banter going about Ronaldo versus Mercy. What's your take on it? Uh, like I've said for a long time now, I, I think we should just enjoy both great players, both our two of the very best we will ever see in lifetimes. Okay. And I think that we should just enjoy. Okay. Be before you run away, let me just ask you, which teams do you see facing each other in the next stage? Um, I'm, I mean, it's a draw, so you never know. But knowing the way the Champions League likes drama, uh -huh. You probably would expect Juventus to be paired with Manchester United because of the, the Ronaldo factor. I won't be surprised to see that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gary Al Smith, for joining us here. Let's hop on to social media for some comments. Uh, we have Manny who says, not a fan of hashtag Ronaldo, which I guess has something to do with being a fan of Messi. But last night, wow, he was an an unstoppable force. He was out to prove that Juventus had bought a game changer. And he did. Hashtag Champions League. Hashtag Juventus Atletico. And see why it says Champions League yesterday was on point. Not seeing hashtag Manchester United play was a breath of fresh air. And these boys, hashtag Juventus FC, hashtag Juventus Atletico, ain't playing. Last UCL, I supported you. This UCL, I will do it again. As Ronaldo is a bonus with them. And the unknown guy says, even God cannot stop at Cristiano from scoring goals in the Champions League. Sweet hat trick. Hashtag Juventus Atletico. Are you sure? The unknown guy that God can't stop him. <laughs> and we have Shine Toby Shine says, I can't get over Christian, Christian Ronaldo's performance yesterday. Sui, legend. Hashtag Juve Atleti. Hashtag Juventus Atletico. And Rick says, Ronaldo is basically a god. Hashtag Juventus Atletico. And we have Slush Sparrow. Okay, well, it's time for us to take a quick breather. And when we are back, we'll talk about tech.